YouTube on the foot, you know what I guys, Nate Shot today. I'm bringing a brand new video. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. As you guys can tell by the title, this is probably the most important video I've ever made. Most important day of my life. And that is not me being dramatic. That is very real. We've been at work on 100 Thieves for about two years now. What we've accomplished so far while we've been here, while we've been building this company has been nothing short of phenomenal. And none of that would be possible without all of you watching at home, all of you coming out to our matches, buying our apparel. Every contribution that you've made just by giving us your intention has been monumental in our growth. This company has only been around for two years, but in my mind, it's been a culmination of 10 years of work in gaming. I pretty much quit everything I had known, whether it was competition, full-time YouTube, whether it was live streaming. I sacrificed a lot of that and a lot of my time that I allocated towards that to start this company. And now I feel like it's gotten to the point where I'm truly ready to share it with all of you. So for your support, I just wanna say thank you. Now, what does all this mean? Why is this the most important day in our company's history? Why is this the most important day for Nate Shot? Well, let me show you. Basically, for the first time ever, we are welcoming all of you, wherever you're from, whether it's California, whether it's across the country, you're gonna have an opportunity to come to our headquarters, the 100 Thieves Cash App Compound, in person for the very first time. This Saturday, February 29th at 10 a.m., our first retail pop-up shop goes live. We have exclusive items that you cannot buy online here in this store, and I honestly cannot wait to meet every single one of you. If you've been watching me since Black Ops 2, if you've been watching me since COD 4, if you've been watching me since Advanced Warfare, whether it was on Optic Gaming, whether it was while I was working at McDonald's, whether it's when I started 100 Thieves, whether it's from our League of Legends team, I don't care how you know or were introduced to 100 Thieves or Nate Shot, all I wanna do is meet you in person. I truly believe that this pop-up shop and all the plans that we have for our apparel, for esports, and for content is really gonna change the landscape of gaming and how people think of brands in gaming. And that's why I'm so excited to get 2020 moving. Now, I feel like this video has too much of a serious tone. So it just says Nate shot like this 16 year old little shit on Call of Duty. Guys, holy shit. We're opening up a retail store. You can come to the store, you can wait in line, you can get this apparel that's on the shelves. I'm wearing two pieces of it right now. The Heather Gray hoodie with the bomber jacket. Oh, guys, this is insane. Look at it, look at this. Now back up, get the whole desk. How may I help you? You want a hat? You want a beanie? You want a shirt? You want a hoodie? You want sweatpants? You want shorts? You want a bomb jacket? I mean, did I cover it? I think I actually just nailed everything that we have in this collection. Next up, we're gonna dive deep into the numbers collection and where the inspiration came from. Please, come see us. Brooke is gonna be here. Valkyrie is gonna be here. Courage is gonna be here. So even if you don't even fucking like me, that's fine. We got other people here too that you probably like. It works out great. You get to come into the front of the store and see the reception area. You see where Anna's sitting right now? You get to see the debossed wall, the 100 Thieves artwork. Look at this desk. Like I said, we just got lights. And we got these crazy suspended shelving units. I mean, this shit is nuts. So come on. I feel like, I feel like uh, one of those Dale Dibba Down on Hollywood. Come on through. <laughs> come on. All right. Now we're gonna shift gears and we're gonna talk about this apparel. All right. We changed up the setting a little bit because too many people coming in and talking, but I can't get upset with them because they're working. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna move. I'm gonna change, all right? So February 29th, 10 a.m., the pop-up shop retail store goes live for the first time ever in person. If you're coming here because you love 100 Thieves and that's the only reason you're coming, then I love that and that's fantastic. But hopefully a lot of you are actually coming to purchase apparel. So I think it's important that we talk about 100 Thieves as a whole, as a brand, and we also talk about the numbers collection. My job as the CEO for 100 Thieves for our apparel business is to create premium apparel. That is the one thing that we have focused on since the beginning of this company. My job is also to continue to innovate from a creative standpoint. The first piece of apparel that we ever created that I truly believed resonated across the entire industry was the cream hoodie. I loved that hoodie and I still do to this day. But what you guys have to understand is if our entire apparel business was built off of taking the 100 Thieves original branding and slapping that on different silhouettes and different colors of clothing, that will get stale. 
And that's not something that I would be proud of from a creative standpoint. Now, I'm not saying that's going away completely, but it's something that we have to continue to always think about. And we have to continue to be innovative and creative. And that's something that I think is important for you guys to understand because I'm not the same person I was two years ago. My tastes and my style, when putting together an outfit, when I wake up in the morning, walk in my closet, that entire process has changed dramatically. For the last two years, and has definitely changed dramatically in the last 10 years. I am not the same person I was when I was 25, and I'm definitely not the same person I was when I was 17. So I know that you guys have your own style and you have your own taste, and I promise you that will change over time, and maybe it won't change with mine, that's totally fine. They don't have to be in sync, but this is what I love and this is what I'm proud of. Now, we have had apparel in the past that didn't resonate right away. We had the 100 Thieves baseball jerseys that we introduced back in 2018. And a lot of you really didn't like that much at the very beginning. But over time, I think we actually won a lot of you over. Now, I'm not saying that's always going to be the case with the apparel that we create, but I just wanted to give you guys an example of how it's happened in the past. Now, the numbers collection is really important to me because it is the most comfortable and the most premium in terms of fit and quality of any apparel that we've created in the last two years. When I wake up in the morning and I go to get dress and I walk into my closet and I have all the choices that I have. I want to wear something that's clean. I want to wear something that's modern. And that's really what the numbers collection is for me. You see a lot of small details on this piece that I truly believe if you had it in hand, you would understand how great the quality of this clothing actually is. When you see and hold and wear these in person, I promise you the vision that we've created comes together. We've been working on this for six months now. I have read your guys' feedback and I know some of you don't believe that this is what should be representing 100 Thieves. You guys have to understand, we have an entire year of apparel ready to be rolled out. This is what we decided we wanted to roll out first and I'm proud of this. I would not have it represent 100 Thieves and I wouldn't have it represent Matthew Haig or Nate Shot if I didn't truly love it. And I just want you guys to know, it's okay if it doesn't fit your parameters in your head of what your style is, that's fine. Apparel, clothing, art, taste, change, it's all subjective and everybody's gonna have their own opinion and that is okay. So if you love 100 Thieves and you love the brand that we've created and this drop isn't for you, I promise you, We'll be here in the future. And even if this is the last straw for you and you don't want to buy 100 Thieves Apparel anymore, that's fine too. But this, as a tastemaker for this brand, this is what I love. This is what I'm proud of. But for the remainder of the video, I think it's really important that I show off a lot of these small details and I give you the opportunity to actually see this apparel on somebody's person. Because we're all, all you've seen so far are still images and product photos and they don't really give it the identity and the personality that I truly believe that you need to see. So let me show you guys some of the fits that I love from the new numbers collection. And so you guys can understand why I think it's really fun, real stylistic, why it's clean, why it's modern, and why I really love it. Now, now I will say, don't miss out on the details. You know what I mean? Now this is where I, like, I envision like, Roxanne, Ro and I just start hitting shit with the new apparel on. Should be like a TikTok, we should have fun with it. Okay, let me film like this then. <laughs> <laughs> No, then I can sue the company. This is great. Hey, sue yourself. I know, it's lit. February 29th, please come out, please come support us, please support 100 Thieves. I cannot wait to see you. It'll be a fantastic day and probably the most important day of my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed and YouTube. We'll see you fuzzing later. Bye.